We're back, guys. Welcome back to the channel. This is the third Ernest. My name is Ernest Adiano the third. We're breaking down rap music. We're breaking down hip hop. We got occasional rando videos between here and there, kind of like my last video. Link right here if you haven't checked it out. But we're back with the reaction. And today we're reacting to, as you can see in the title, Going In Again by Screwface John featuring Mercules and Crit. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I haven't heard a song from either one of these three dudes. And I really do not listen to a whole lot of YouTube rappers. And the main reason I don't listen to YouTube rappers is because I feel like a lot of the times they're beefing with each other just for the sake of the clout. Or just for the sake of, I'm gonna put your name in my raps so that way your people and fans can see my rap and then you're gonna respond so my people see your rap. It almost seems like it's fake diss and it's not just YouTube rappers. For all the people who are requesting that I react to Yellow Wolf's Bloody Sunday freestyle, I haven't reacted to it because when I had first heard it, it sounds like he's just going at rappers just for the sake of going at them, just because that seems to be the cool thing to do today. There's no real beef, like Eminem had real beef with Ja Rule. Nas and Jay-Z had real beef. You know, Drake and Meek Mill had a real beef going on for a little bit. But a lot of YouTube rappers and Yellow Wolf's freestyle, I feel like they're just going at it just so that way they can get the views. And me, I'm done in the hype. Now, I'm not saying that this is what this song is about. Screw, I have seen his reactions. So it's not like he's a typical YouTube rapper in the fact that that's all he does. I respect that, obviously, because I'm doing reactions as well. I'm doing breakdowns as well. I was like, you know what? A lot of y'all have suggested it. Let me go ahead and react to this. First time hearing the song, haven't heard it yet. I do know about Mercules and Crip that they're white dudes. You know, they're not your prototypical rappers and they speed rap, which is cool as long as it doesn't get too crazy repetitive. Now, before we get started, I will say that I don't think that YouTube rappers are any less of rappers because they don't have contracts because they're not in the mainstream. Just like I don't think that YouTubers are any less entertainment than people who are in the mainstream entertainment industry. Just wanted to point that out, that I don't think these dudes can't not rap. Ready for this, Nima, or what? Yeah. Crip, screw it, what up? They weren't ready for this one. Yo, I'm a byproduct of fly talk. All these guys not a I father the scene. I'm Darth and you Skywalker. I... Hold up. My man's just said, I fathered the scene. I don't know what scene he's talking about. YouTube rap. I Darth Vader the Skywalkers. <sighs> Darth Vader, father of Luke Skywalker. That's already a bar. But, has nothing to do with the rap, but the video editing. It's all right. Got nothing to do with the artists themselves, because I haven't heard anything other than that Skywalker bar, which is already fire. These 2018, 2019 transitions where they spin and they fucking blur past. I'm just personally not a fan of that. It's not something that's going to last through time. I'm going to be able to watch this video in five years and be like, you can tell by the video that it was back in 2018, 2019. But anyway, keep moving forward. Look at my dreams, that's probably why y'all salty me. You couldn't see, try the calling brain, the yeah. doctor, drop some shit again. Me and you couldn't see, try calling the eye doctor. Traction and new tires, I'm too far. Even Kevin Gay said he's too tired like Kumbaya. I got that traction like new tires. Said he's too tired like Kumbaya. Bitch, I got that suicide sauce. Mercury's crypt to screw you. We accrue icons. Look, put me on the track and see what happens. I might OD, but your team in casket. Someone tell sweat. I like his delivery. His delivery is fire. His voice is unique. Put me on the track and see what happens. I might OD, but your team in casket. Someone tell sweat that I need the answers. Everybody want a little piece, I'm snapping. Everybody want a little piece, I'm snapping, like break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. That was a bar. And obviously the OD, I'm putting your whole crew in caskets, but that snap line was fire. My bad, I had the fucking volume turned down, I didn't even realize. Fuck your subscribers, I'm done rhyming, I'll come find them. I keep that extra gas on me like a truck driver. Ooh. I'm on sign, but I'm I keep that extra gas on me like a truck driver. You see a lot of people carrying around gas tanks. Obviously, if they break down in the middle of nowhere, Jeeps also have that little gas tank in the back. He's talking about that gas, talking about that fucking heat, but also keeping that extra gas, talking about that fucking spit. That's a bar. I'm impressed. Fire, so come try it. They aspire to be like us with an umpire. Used to be broke, but now our cabin is full. Like cocaine in a pot, let's get it cracking for show. The cards are like cocaine in a pot. Let's get it fucking cracking. Like let's get it crack a lacking. But you put cocaine in the pot with water and baking soda, fucking whip it up, and then that shit crystallizes and form into crack rock. Let's get it cracking like cocaine in a pot. Okay, okay, I see you. Took the 
cards I was given And then I charged through the industry This is manifestation I put my star power in this shit So <laughs> you beating me Is like claiming R. Kelly's innocent Birth and triplets Yeah, the whole squad's really in this they bitch say homies, but the You beating me is like claiming R. Kelly's innocent Bitch, we know you done did it We been new That's the end of his verse That was fire I fuck with it <laughs> Shit is make-believe I'm standing ten toes down Ain't no fake in me Just put your faith in me If you love me, then perform me I'm going in the club If you love me See all these little transitions that are like edits just for the sake of being edits, just to make the edit a little more interesting. I guess it's just me because I edit videos, obviously, but I don't put these little like random transitions in my videos because I feel like personally it's a crutch. Like if you have to do this, that means the video isn't as powerful enough on its own. And really it's only because these feel like they're out of place. Like they're not, they're not happening for a reason. If they were happening for a reason, that'd be a different thing. But right now we're just glitching all over the place. I don't know why. You ain't asking for forgiveness, but you still finna get prayed on. Like prayed on, I pray for my haters, I pray for the sinners, but also prayed on, like P-R-E-Y, like your prey. Like I'm the alpha and I'm dominating, I'm coming to kill. Double entendre, out the ass, that's sick. <laughs> Did he say you formed an opinion before this instrumental came on? You should have repented before this instrumental came on We don't take kind of liars, these are cheats, they burning fire We the keys, we are some science, please don't speak Cause we are tired of these false prophets that are promising to put back back into a trial But you only rap about the bitch you have an hour Said it's better than message in your lines, it ain't fine See? He's saying shit with his lyrics, and I fuck with it. He says, you only rapping about the bitches. You ain't putting no messages in your lines or in your rhymes. That's what I've been saying. That's why this whole channel exists, because we ain't here to fucking break down the bullshit rap. And if we are, we're here to criticize, like, this is why I don't even fucking like it. I really like what the message is about on his verse. <laughs> My bad, I hit the space bar in accident, but your body's dropping just from a pencil. You will probably be another stencil. I fucking paused it right there on accident, and that was a fucking bar. Body's dropping from a pencils, but you'll probably a stencil, which you use a pencil to draw the shape, but also a stencil as in the stencils that you see on the ground in movies where the body was at, and they outline it. Fucking fire. I think I missed a bar in there, but we're gonna keep going anyway. Fucking Papa Doc will make you lock your jaw and fucking misremember all the fundamentals? That's a fucking bar. Like Papa Doc at the end of 8 Mile when he fucking froze because M said, Hey, tell these people something they don't know about me. And he forgot everything because he froze him up, took all his material. You could take the fucking mic home with you. Obviously, I missed a whole bunch of that bullshit. The whole time that he was spinning fast, all I was thinking when Tory Lane said that th that's all that fucking Joyner Lucas can do. That was on one of the disses. I forgot which one when they had their little fucking diss battle. But I completely missed everything because I was just thinking in my head. I zoned out. <laughs> I didn't really see any bars in there like some double entendre bullshit, but if I missed something, let me know because obviously I was fast as fuck. But I think the just showing off the skill is the more important piece right there. See these little glitches and shit? This is what I'm talking about. Like, why? Look at that. Like, why did we do that? We fucking zoomed and ended up in the exact same frame that we were before the zoom? Why? What? Camo bandanas that look like Soldier Slim? Okay, but I already like his multiple syllable rhyme scheme and rhyme pattern. That shit is hard. Like to be able to rhyme multiple syllables and multiple lines and different syllables and rhyme patterns 
but have the words still all make sense. Like it doesn't seem like you're trying to do that. What am I supposed to do with all this potent flair? Except for spit it out. Once I get it out, I'm going to go again. Mm. The only man that I ever knew was Jehovah man. He goes to Mecca. And I protect. The only holy man I ever knew was Jehovah man. Talking about Lily Hove. Talking about how he's a god. That's a line. Jehovah man. He goes to Mecca. And I protect it in the holy land. Raps is mm. bad. Bitch, I'm in the court. But I don't call the pen. I call the pen on any other man. I hope you're... I don't co-depend on any other man. I hope you overstand instead of understand. Okay, screw face. I see what the hype's about. More dead bodies than Logan Paul. Why we gotta go there? Why we gotta take it there? Because he fucked up. That's why we gotta take it there. For those of y'all that don't know that aren't really big on the whole YouTube scene, obviously Logan Paul done fucked up by filming a dead body in the suicide forest of Japan. Hence the line. Okay. Call me a YouTube rapper like I ain't proud, bitch. Like, oh, he's just a YouTube rapper. So fucking what? J. Cole's independent? Then he says, go ahead and upload your little reaction when I'm wow rich. Like, wow, that motherfucker's got money. Now I'm gonna react to him when he been fire. There go, all three of them are going in. The song's fucking fire. They saw death and started flirting. Flirting with death. Personification of death. They saw death and started flirting with him or her because these women will be the death of me. That's fire. That whole last little scheme. Village niggas lurking, the trigger finger is burning to burst them. Okay. Shit is make believe. I'm standing ten times down and they're faking me. Just put your faith in me. If you let me to perform me, I'm going in again. If you let me to perform me, I'm going in again. If you let me to perform me, I'm going in again. If you let me to perform me, I'm going in again. Yeah. All right. That was fire. See, this is the type of rap I want to see on YouTube from quote unquote YouTube rappers. I don't want to see them going at each other for some fucking reason. Who, who even knows why? I hadn't heard any song from any three of these dudes, but they're fucking fire. Let's go ahead and rate the individual things. Flow. Dope. All three of them. Both of the two white homeboys, they didn't get stuck in that fucking fast paced flow. Like a lot of people who do that, like that's their gimmick, that's their shtick. They get stuck in that repetitive fast pace, sometimes triplet flow rhyme scheme, and it gets kind of boring. Like yes, it's impressive, but it all sounds the same. These two homeboys here did not get stuck in that. So that was fire. Screw here came through with that solid fucking bars. The hook, fire. Pray for me, I'm going in again hook. I can hear that over and over, that's fire. His voice is good for that hook. Lyrical content, bars. This is fire, because it just sounds like a normal song. It's not radio friendly, it's not like a radio hit. Do we even care about that? Radio hits are fucking normally the shitty ones on the album, because they gotta pertain to a certain fucking fan base and structure. These dudes just going in just to go in, because they don't have anybody to impress, or anybody to prove other than themselves, and us. The only thing that I didn't like about the video were those fucking glitches, and the fucking transitions, and the spindly fucking whirly, and side swipe effects, and shit like that. They have their place, not saying that they're terrible all the time, not even saying that they're crazy terrible here. They just seemed out of place on this video. Overall, fire. I fuck with it. I feel like that's a good song for me to get introduced to these three dudes on. Cause all three of them went in. I was already a fan of Screw's reactions. So I figured like the dude had the caliber and he knows what like lyrical artists that he should get cause he has the caliber to break down lyrics. So yeah, it's just a natural transition that he goes from that into writing fire actual lyrics himself. But anyway, appreciate y'all guys being here. Thank y'all for being back to the videos. Thank you for anybody who's watching this who hasn't been here. I don't know if I'm gonna get new subscribers or if I, I don't know if I'm gonna get new people watching this from either of these three dudes. If y'all are here and y'all are new, go ahead and click the subscribe button right here. Do me that favor if you like what you saw. If I missed some bars, definitely let me know in the comments because I'm sure that I did. Only because I had never heard any three of these dudes style before so I didn't know what to expect lyric wise. But if I missed something that was fire, let me know in the comments. But yeah, thank y'all guys for being here. Appreciate every one of y'all. See y'all in the next video. Peace.